So you try to look at your cake rising, but all you see is the oven's dirty windows of your kitchen range. Here at Fix It or Wreck It, we're gonna show you step by step how to properly clean those filthy glasses. The first step is to remove the door. Flip over the locks located on both bottom hinges with a screwdriver. Then lift the door at around 80 degrees to pull the hinges out of their slots. Once you remove the door, place it on a flat working area. Make sure you can work around your door. There is a screw on a back panel. With a Phillips screwdriver, remove all of them. There is also three screws on the bottom edge of the door to be removed. When you're done, set the back panel aside and start cleaning the first window. At this point, we are using regular household cleaning product. Once you're done cleaning both sides of the front panel, just set it aside and bring back the back panel. The second window is held by two sets of brackets and screws, one on each side. Once the window is freed from this bracket, you can clean it the same way that you did the front panel window. When you're done cleaning, set aside the window and it's time to took apart the rest of the back panel. There is seven screw left to remove the heat shield. Set the heat shield aside, then pull out the glass assembly from the back panel. Store away the back panel and bring back the glass assembly. There is two pin, one on each side. You just pull them up and remove the top bracket. Once it's removed, you can free the two last glasses. Clean those two windows the same way as you clean the two first one. And for tougher stain, you could use white vinegar and baking powder. You might need to let it sit for a while. When everything is clean, it is now time to put it back together. Start with the glass assembly. Once you have complete the glass assembly, bring back the back panel to be reassembled. Go the exact opposite way you did in the first place. Bring the heat shield. Put back the seven screw. Install the bracket on the third window. 
put it in its place and use the two screws on each side. Position the inches in their right position. Don't screw them all the way. Wait till the three screws are in place before you tighten them properly. Put the back assembly onto the front panel. Here's two screws on the top and three on the bottom. Now everything is complete, it's now time to put it back on the kitchen range. Don't forget to put the lock back in place. There you have it. If you appreciate this video, please share and like. Thanks.